One of the most important things for a grazing soil is to have good soil structure. What we mean by soil structure is that the soil is open and friable. A soil that's open and friable gets maximum water infiltration during rainfall, it allows air to flow through the soil and it allows pasture and tree roots to explore the soil and access nutrients and water. When we're talking about soil structure, we're talking about how well aggregated a soil is. And a soil with good structure has a good range of what we call aggregates or crumbs. In this little video, we're going to show you how to assess the strength of these aggregates. These are the building blocks of a good soil structure. The aggregate strength test is a simple test you can do in the paddock on your place. And what we're trying to do is test how strong each of the aggregates that make up our soil structure are. We do this by putting an aggregate into water and testing how stable it is or how strong it is in the water. To assess aggregate strength, you need just a few simple bits of equipment. Firstly, you need your grazing rash manual. The second thing you'll need is a simple plastic dish or a couple of dishes to test each of your aggregates. These paint pallets that you can buy from a, a department store are pretty easy to use. Thirdly, you need some clean water. It's best to use distilled water or rainwater if you can. And finally, you need a stopwatch. So usually your smartphone will cover you for that. That's all the gear you need to do this test. So the first thing you need to do is go to your monitoring site where you've set up your transect on your land types. Once you're at your site, you're digging up a cube of soil and you just want to take out from it a sample of your topsoil. From this, we, we get ourselves a couple of aggregates. And an aggregate is a small piece of soil about three to five millimetres in size. That's what we're testing to see how strong it is. The next step once we have our aggregate at our monitoring point is to get our water in our plastic dishes. So we fill our plastic dishes with some of the distilled or the rainwater and put it out on a flat surface. After we've got our water in our dish ready to go, we get our aggregate and we carefully place it into the water without dropping it. We now set our stopwatch and we want to time this for 10 minutes and observe the aggregate and what happens to it. When you place your aggregate into the water, there's three potential things that can happen to that aggregate of soil. The first thing is that it can stay stable and not change. That's what you want to happen after 10 minutes. That's the sign of good soil structure when those aggregates stay strong and don't change. The second thing that can happen is that the aggregate can slowly fall apart into smaller pieces. This is what we call soil slaking. And you can have a lot of slaking or a little bit of slaking in any aggregate. Slaking is a sign of poor soil structure and is not a good indicator. The third thing that can happen to your soil when you place it into that water is that it can disperse or make the water go milky. This dispersion is where the clays are leaving your aggregate and going off into suspension. This is an, also an indicator of poor soil structure and that soil type is highly susceptible to erosion and sediment loss in your catchment. So looking at options to improve your soil structure is the next step. Once you've assessed your soil aggregate strength over that 10 minutes, you can assess your results using the bullseye scorecard in your rash manual. If you score low, then you have to look at ways to improve your soil structure. 